Let's face it, decorating your home and creating a beautiful home that you wanna live in can be expensive, especially if you're like me and have champagne taste on a beer budget. So today I wanted to share with you some of my top tips for how as a designer, I save money in my own home and in my clients' homes, how I create these luxury looks, how I create a look that looks more expensive, but I do it on a budget. I hope you're gonna love this video. If you haven't hit subscribe, hit subscribe. We have an amazing community of fellow design enthusiasts and we love to chat about everything from trends to different design styles and dissect them and have a whole lot of fun. So I hope you'll love it. Let's jump into today's video. One of my favorite things that I've done in my own home is that I have upgraded my art, but I have done it on a budget. It can be very expensive to create really big art installations in your home. And honestly, sometimes it's it, it can be a bit tricky, but it doesn't have to be. Some of my favorite ways that I've upgraded my art recently, uh, my bedroom, there's something about it right now. I love the two art pieces. I actually found those on Amazon. Now, I know you could also DIY them. That's definitely an option, and we do that all the time on this channel. We'll find canvases either at thrift stores or I found them at Home Goods. All good places to shop for them if you want to DIY your art. But sometimes you might find something online that may actually even be less expensive than, than buying the art and then having to buy paint. And that's the case with those big prints. They really help set the stage in the room and they really help the space just feel a lot taller and a lot more grand. And I do think they make a huge impact. Now, another thing that I like to do is not only just look for less expensive artwork, but I also think about the arrangement of the artwork. So in my bedroom, I also have them flanking the windows. I've got them stacked on top of each other. And that arrangement, there's something about the symmetry of them and also the large matting inside of them that really just gives this feeling of elegance and sophistication. And I found those at Target. Now, I do think they are sold out. Target should have brought those back about five years ago, which is what I think I got them. But I will do my best to leave something linked up for you that's extremely similar uh, because I also have them on the other side of the room. And over there, I've taken this idea of arranging and I've actually stacked four of those together. So that this way of arranging things is a way of creating elegance and sophistication, which I think in our minds makes something feel more expensive. Because let's be honest, like the idea of something being expensive probably isn't all that important to most of us. It's the idea of elegance and sophistication that we're really after. And I think arranging things in a symmetrical pattern like that can just be very soothing to the eye. And I think going with the black and white prints inside of them is another way of creating elegance. And I personally think that the artwork inside of them, not only the color of it, but the subject really does dictate how you feel when you see something in a room. Those are more prints that I also bought off of Amazon, but you can also shop at places like Etsy. I've recently bought some artwork off of Etsy. I have bought vintage prints off of there, oil paintings and other things over the years. Uh, and those end up a lot of times in my clients' homes. I love like, oh, like any kind of like charcoal drawing or anything like that. I love to buy those. I've also bought artwork in thrift stores and at flea markets. I have a lot throughout my house. So you have a lot of options. You have a lot of resources at your fingertips to be able to create beautiful art installations on a budget. Another thing that I like to do is I love to thrift. So I have mentioned that about the artwork. I really like to thrift shop for my home. I have artwork in my home that's thrifted. I love to look for thrifted books. I've noticed now actually that Amazon has become a great source to look for used books. I love to go to, we have Goodwill, that's the main one around here that we go to, but any thrift store that you've got near you, I always check out the book section. I have books literally all over my house that I have found at estate sales, I found them uh, at, at flea markets, at 
online now on Amazon. I just bought a couple actually. Sometimes they're more expensive when they're out of print, <laughs> but a lot of times you can find them used on Amazon actually, and you can get some really great prices. But I do think that you can thrift for all your accessories, your books. I have some gorgeous plates sitting on my table right now. I, I love setting the table. I think it's a really beautiful way of creating elegance and sophistication, which I think we could all agree makes a home feel more expensive. Speaking of thrifting, let's chat for just a moment about today's video sponsor, which is Thread Up. I have placed kind of a big order actually with them and found some incredible items. Just like when you're buying homeware for the rest of your house, when it comes to your closet, it's really nice to be able to stock it up with some beautiful designer items, especially when you can get them for less. I was a little bit impatient. <laughs> I had to try this blazer on immediately. I absolutely love it. It is from, this is from Ralph Lauren and it's from the Ralph Lauren collection. And I had recently placed an order for a blazer from the almost the identical thing, okay? It was about $700 and I was like, that's kind of expensive. So I was like, mm, I think I could save myself a little bit of money. So I got on thread up and I found this beautiful blazer. Look at the detail on this beautiful blazer. It is in pristine condition. Okay, let me check the price. Let's see, I'm checking my order. What? $25.99? Did you just steam my clothes for me? I did. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much. $17.55. Whoa. 17.55. Look. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous. I also Amazing. bought uh, Ralph Lauren trousers. Now, they, obviously, I went a little crazy on Ralph Lauren because I really love <laughs> their pieces. It's not the only thing I've bought from them. I've also bought Michael Kors. You can buy all kinds of designer mm -hmm. clothes. It's $5.90 for a pair of jeans by Whoa. Ralph Lauren from the Ralph Lauren collection. And these were a whopping $24.70. Have I convinced you? I know, oh, I know. A massive savings. It is, oh and then this gorgeous quilted jacket as well, also from Ralph Lauren. But don't worry, they definitely have other brands besides Ralph Lauren. Oh, yeah. I've got all my items favorited, so you can check out my favorites and go do a little bit of shopping. You can kind of see where I'm going. I was looking for some casual pieces that I could wear uh, like on the weekends when we go to farm shops. You've got beautiful trousers, blazers. It's whatever you're looking <laughs> for, they've got it. I am so excited because not only does thrifting, of course, help you out, it also helps out the environment. So. I have a discount code. I'm gonna save you 40% off your first order. So look down below and click my link and use my code Valentina and that's gonna save you 40% off your first order when you go to check out. So I will leave all the details listed down below for you. I'm so excited about these. I know that you will be as well and you're gonna have to let me know what you find because <laughs> they have so many good things. Another way I like to upgrade my home and create a Lux for Less look is to add faux greenery. Let's face it, we all love to have fresh flowers and fresh greens in our home and I tend to mix it. At the moment, I think you guys can see a little bit up there where I've got some branches from the garden that we've clipped recently. And then you can see just right here off camera how I've got some faux branches. I, I tend to mix them actually. So um, actually I can tip you over here just a second. Here, let's show you, like I've got the fig tree back there and that is real. And then throughout the house, I've got faux olive trees as well. So I tend to mix it because it can be expensive and sometimes a little bit cumbersome to try to keep up with all the greens. So I do think that faux greenery is a really good tool that we can use to create a more luxurious look. There's something about having greenery and flowers in our homes that makes it feel more upgraded. I, I think because we know that they're hard to come by. Some of these flowers only bloom once a year. So having them in our home is something very precious and we associate that with something that create some more luxurious look. So when we're trying to do it on a budget, I think faux flowers are a really good option because they last 
forever. <laughs> I think that that's really, really good. Sometimes they can be more expensive than buying them fresh. One of my favorite sources for faux flowers and greenery is a floral and Sometimes their prices are a little bit more than buying it, like say at the grocery store, but they are there forever and ever, and you can pull them out every single season. So I would definitely check out a floral. I buy a lot of my olive trees. Sometimes a floral does have the olive trees. They always sell out of them, but I do have a couple sources that I think are really good for faux olive trees, the eucalyptus. I find them on Amazon. I think Pottery Barn also has some really good options. So I'll link a few of those up down below for you, but why not bring out some hydrangea? Why not bring out some greenery? Why not have these? These are Italian ruscus. And I think you have a lot of options at your fingertips and you can really make a high impact with those items throughout your home. Hi, hi, are you gonna come hang out? Come here, come here. Are you gonna come hang out and say hi? Hi, hi, you're gonna come say hi? Come here, come up here and say hi to everybody. Say hi, everybody. Can you say hi? Did the kids go back to school? Hmm? Did the kids go back to school? Are you a little lonely now with no one home to hold you all day? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You gotta say hi. You gotta show everybody your cute face. You gotta show everybody your cute face. Yeah. yeah. Say hi, everybody. Look at this fluff around his neck. He's just so fluffy. He's just so fluffy and a little bit scruffy. Yes, you are. Let's talk, oh, 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 keep the, keep the rubbing going, huh? Keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> Another way that I really love to upgrade the home is to add lighting. Lighting really is such a powerful tool and it's one that as a designer, it, it, I know that it can really transform. Oh my goodness, it really can. Here, come up here so everyone can see what this little thing is making all this noise. <laughs> I really think that lighting can really transform a space. And I really learned that afresh when I recently switched out the chandelier in my bedroom. I really just couldn't, I, I still just walk in there and I'm like, oh my gosh, the lighting in here is so good. And it just made such a big impact on the space. For me, I think one of the biggest things why that chandelier works so well Part of it is, is that I painted the room back to this creamy ivory color and you really just couldn't see the gold chandelier that was in there, even though it was quite expensive, it really just didn't show up. So instead I decided to save a little bit of money after having splurged on the other one. I thought, well, let me see what I can find on Amazon and I found that really great light. That chandelier has such a nice contrast against the ceiling and it's really big and it really fills out the space. And so those things can be very impactful when you're wanting to make a change in your room. So I do think that looking on Amazon is a great source. I also found my lamps there that are in that space. I like how tall they are. I also like the faux leather and the little braiding look on them. They're just some really nice details but they don't have to cost you a lot of money. Of course, we love designer lighting and sometimes we do splurge. And I do think sometimes you should splurge on certain pieces that will really give you a big impact. And then other times you can really save and find these amazing items like the chandelier, like the lamps on places like Amazon. I think that adding mirrors to the space makes such a big impact. She says, while no longer having the mirror above the fireplace, well, none of you, <laughs> nobody panic, okay? There is going to be a mirror coming back. I've already placed the order. Now that one I did splurge on. That's probably not the best example of how to create a lux for less look. Sometimes you do have to splurge and sometimes you just need to look around. I have to be honest with you, the one I have coming is from RH and it cost me about $1,200. That's actually a really good price. If you have ever tried to price out really large mirrors, having them handmade, having them handmade and then having to have them framed can be really expensive. So, sometimes even sites that you would just I immediately think if it's going to be from RH, it's going to be expensive. Actually, sometimes it can be cheaper than even having something handmade. 
And the one that I had there before, I love it. And it's now been uh, relocated within our home to what I think is a better location, but it just was a little bit small. And so it's costing me twice because I was trying to save money on the first one. So I think buying the right thing can save you the, a lot of money in the long run, of course. Thankfully, I'm able to use the other piece somewhere else. But I think being really smart and measuring really well and deciding what you really, really want and not settling because you find something that's cheaper, I do think that will really help you get that Lux for Less look. Now, you can also shop sites that you would assume will be expensive because they may have something that's a better deal than going and having it custom made. But I will say that in the bathroom and in the bedroom, I have found some incredible mirrors. Oh, and the dining room as well. Those are three locations I've just recently added mirrors to, and the mirrors just, they're all from Amazon and they look amazing, and they really upgrade a room. There's something about mirrors and the way that they reflect light, the way they feel like they add space and dimension to a room. They add a little bit of twinkle with the way that the light reflects from the chandeliers and the candlelight. There's just something so luxurious about a mirror and they just don't have to cost you a lot of money and it's proof and I've just been enjoying it so much in my home that I just wanted to share that with you. Other great sources would be Ikea. I shop there all the time for mirrors. They really have some good ones and if you've watched our Ikea playlist, you know we love to shop Ikea and really use those mirrors, but you could also thrift those as well check in like estate sales. If you see a sign, why not pop into the house? I don't know about you, but I always feel like, is it wrong to just go to the estate sale just to see the house? It is not, it is allowed, okay? They encourage that. They want you to walk in, check out the house and see if you end up finding something. But going into those estate sales can be really helpful. You might find that someone also had a big fireplace and a mirror over it and they're not selling it with the house. Or they've got some, they've got a great junk section in their basement or their attic and they've been storing things that they brought back from Europe or a family member gave them it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of fun to go and to thrift and to look for items that will be less expensive but will be the item that is like an item of your dreams. It's also great for the environment as well. So lots of great reasons to be out and about, checking out your antique shops, your thrift stores, the estate sales, check on Amazon, check around because mirrors are a great way of really creating a very luxurious look, but you can do it for less if you get smart about it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I always love these videos because it always reminds me to be resourceful. It reminds me even as a designer not to just immediately start looking for the most expensive item, but to get creative and think about what do I have in my home? What, what resources are at my fingertips? And Etsy, man, I sometimes I think maybe stuff, stuff gets me in a little bit of trouble because I just get so much fun over there and you find so many gorgeous items. But I hope you've really found some inspiration. Let me know which of these tips is your favorite and which one you are already using in your home and maybe one that you're thinking about checking out now. Don't forget to check out that Thread Up discount as well. My code is Valentina. It's gonna get you an extra 40% off of your first, your first order with Thread Up. That is a huge savings. I know you're gonna love it and I am really enjoying my blazer. So I will uh, leave all the links for those items down below and also check out my favorites list over on ThreadUp as well. I think you're gonna really love it. So thank you so much for joining me. Cheers, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.